Well, hi everyone, welcome back to Photoshop User TV. We are the Photoshop guys. I'm Corey Barker and I'm joined today by Mr. Pete Collins. Hello. Hey guys, how's it going? It's good been to a, be here. It's been a while. It has been a while. I don't know how long it's been. I don't either, but it's good to be back. It is. We are back and we're ready to have some fun. But before we get to that, let's talk about who, who brought you this show, who brings you this fine show. It's We Are Produced by National Association of Photoshop, professionals who produce Photoshop user magazine. The 100 Tips issue is out. The 100 Tips issue is out. That's right. We, uh, we send out 10 of these a year. If you don't have one of these, you mm -hmm. need to join NAP and get them. They're great. Definitely a fan favorite, the Tips issue, so be sure to check that out soon. So uh, we actually uh, we have another deal. Uh, we have these ebook deals yep. from Peachfoot. Peachfoot's really got, doing a great deal for they, us. They really do. They, they do a lot of great stuff from there. And they've got a new ebook deal. And hopefully we'll get it up on screen here in a moment. You can just see what the deal is. There it is. You can save 40% on this great Kelby book deal. It is the digital print, if I can read that right. Preparing images in Lightroom and Photoshop for printing. And this is a, a great thing. It was originally list price of $39.99. Now with 40% off, you can get it for $23.99. It's a very so make specific sure you just, number. Yeah. yeah, it is. Make sure you go over there and check it out. It's a great deal. Definitely great uh, ebook deals over there at Peach Bit. A lot of great stuff over there. All right, um, we're gonna jump right in. I've got a really cool 3D thing. Not surprisingly. Shocker. Um, actually, it comes from a question a lot of fans have been asking about uh, when you create 3D text. It appears on a ground plane by default. So if you just see here on my screen right here, I've got some simple text text already laid out. I'm just gonna go to 3D. New 3D extrusion from selected layer. Now it goes ahead and creates the extrusion and this wireframe appears. This is the invisible ground plane the text is sitting on. What people want to know is, yes, it's sitting on top of it, but I want it to look as though the text is coming out of like a, like a wall, like it's sitting on a wall and have that shadow cast. Because when it's in this mode right here, let's just uh, reset my workspace here. When it's like this, and we'll just rotate the scene here, Current view. So you can see that shadow being cast on the ground. Well, I want it to actually be facing upward. So all you have to do is, in the 3D panel here, select the text item right there. Highlight that. Over in the properties panel right here, I'm just going to drag it out so it's easy to see. And just go over here to the coordinates tab at the very top, very last tab over here. And I'm just going to go into the angle settings and go to the X and go 90. I want that tilts it 90 degrees, now the text is facing up. But now I can see the extrusion is a little too deep. So again in that properties panel, let's go back to the um, first tab and just bring that extrusion depth down a little bit. So it makes the text a little thinner. The problem is it has risen, or appears to be has risen off that ground plane. So all you have to do, and there's a feature to, to deal with this, instead of trying to manually move it down, just go into 3D panel, and while that text item is selected, go to the pop-out menu and choose move object to ground plane. Bam, snaps it right back to that. Now, let's change our camera angle. So I'm gonna select current view. Now we're changing the angle of the camera, not the object itself. And go back to those coordinate settings and we'll again do 90 on that angle. Now, we've gotten really close to it, so I'm actually gonna push my angle of view out here a little bit until it appears, there it is right there. So we'll drag that down. And in the past, what we had to do to make text appear as though it was on a wall like this was create a whole other ground plane, merge the objects together. But now, just by readjusting the angle of the object, we can go in and adjust the positioning of the light here and really make it look as though that that shadow is being cast on a fake wall right behind the text there. So again, by default, what it does is when you create that text, it puts it perpendicular to that ground plane. So you gotta be over here, go in here, just adjust those angles, but use those coordinate settings and it'll give you a precise turn of the object there, so. Yeah, so what I'm noticing more and more as I try to play with 3D, I try to copy what Corey does and I get in there and I get stuck. It's mm -hmm. all about just knowing which tab and which panel to go to. Right. And that's where you really, yeah. you're the master of it. You know what needs to happen. So definitely go check out all his 3D little, stuff. All the little dials and switches. Yep. Let's take a quick break and we'll be right back. Pete's got a little tip. We're going to give some stuff away, wrap things up. Join us right back here on Photoshop User TV. <laughs>
All right, everyone, we are back. Now, one of the really cool things we're going to start doing here on Photoshop User TV is every single episode, we're going to give away a NAP membership. Full yep. year, full benefits of NAP, and how do you win that? Well, pretty much the same way you did before. How, how yeah, just like before, you're going to go over to kelbytv.com slash contest, and what you're going to do is you're going to go select which show it is, and you want Photoshop User TV, add your name, your email, your website, and comments right here. Good comments are always liked more than bad comments, but it really doesn't matter. And then you're just going to send that in, and you're going to be eligible to win a full NAP membership, one year and NAP, NAP not membership. Only the NAP membership, but yep. also a book right here, Design Currency. We have a whole bunch of books we're going to be giving away, so this is certainly yep. one right here. So, in addition to that and the NAP membership, be sure to enter that. Now, one <laughs> other tiny little announcement. It's not tiny, it's actually big. We have the first Photoshop Guys Design Challenge, and it's over at, actually it's over at my site, uh, CoreySBarker.com, if you can see right here. You can go to my site and go to the tab where it says Challenge and go check out Design Challenge. And we've got a massive prize package put together, so be sure and try, get all the details there and be sure to enter. The submission deadline is October 1st, so do it fast. Yeah, that's a great thing. And, and the judges are really phenomenal, too. I like the judges yeah, you picked for this. We have an extraordinary judges panel. Go, yeah. go to the site and you'll see. I happen to be on there as well. So, All right. All right. So here's my quick tip. When I found out that Corey was doing a 3D tutorial, I needed to find something that linked up with his tutorial. So I decided what better thing to do than to jump over into Lightroom. So if you look at my computer, you're over in Lightroom, and if you're like me, I like to have these little, these little tabs tucked away. I don't want all these things. I want to be able to see as much as I can. So here I am over in the grid view. And since he did a 3D tutorial, I figured I'd give you a quick tip. If you ever want to jump from grid to develop, just simply hit the letter D, like 3D, and now you're immediately over into the develop module and you can do all your work over there and jump back to grid by just hitting G. So there's my quick tip that ties in with his 3D, D. I'm, there I'm you seeing, go. I'm sensing D is a major yes. component here. See how I did that? I tied it all in you with did. a bow. You did. All right. Okay, so I believe that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of Photoshop User TV. I want to thank you guys for joining us and Mr. P. Collins. Yep. Of course. And we will see you next week. We'll probably have a different guest on the show. I don't know. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? Now? Tune in next time and see you. Yep. We'll see you guys next week.